morning, boys and girls. For language arts this week, we are talking about community helpers and jobs in our neighborhoods. This book today that I'm going to read to give us an idea of different careers and jobs we're going to talk about, community helpers, I'm going to read clothesline clues to jobs people do. So it's going to give you some clues and try to figure out which job they're talking about. Illustrated by Andy Robert Davies. This is by Katherine Helling and Deborah Hembrook. Okay, here we go. Clothesline, clothesline clues to jobs people do. Look at the clotheslines. That's where they hang some laundry outside and see every clue. Who uses these things for the jobs that they do? Hmm. Uniform and cap. An invite for you. Big bag of letters. What job does she do? Do you know? Hmm, a bag and some letters. A mail carrier. She is a mail carrier. Mailman, a uh, mail van. There's her bag with all the mail. Milk pail and straw hat, overalls and blue. Plaid shirt, bandana. What job does he do? Do you know? With the rooster. Plaid shirt and some overalls. A farmer. Carrying the tomatoes to the truck with all the vegetables. There's a barn. Lots of clues. Here's some new ones. Okay, oven mittens, or oven mitts, apron, a recipe for stew, puffy hat and whisk. What job does he do? That's right, a chef. I bet you guessed that one. Smock. This is a smock to get all the paints and things instead of getting on your clothes. A beret and a brush. Lots of brushes. Paints of a hue, canvas, and an easel. What job does he do? An artist. Look at all those paintings. Overalls. Tool belt. Work gloves and glue. Safety glasses. Saw. What job does she do? Saw, some wood, tool belt with lots of tools, a carpenter. Carpenter sawing the wood, hanging the hammer and the wrench on the wall. There's a tape measure, building something. Carpenters do a lot of building. <gasps> Heavy pants, helmet, wide suspenders too, rescue coat, long hose. What job does she do? She is a firefighter. This is going to be the first career or community helper job we talk about this week with our firefighter circle map in just a few minutes. There's the ladder truck. She's giving it a clean. It'll park back in the firehouse. Spacesuit and jetpack, star charts to review, bike gloves, and moon boots. What job does she do? She is an astronaut. Very cool. And there's a launch party. These clothes are all clues for the jobs people do. Is one of these jobs just right for you? Hmm. I like how they put all of them back in the picture. The construction worker or the carpenter, the chef, the firefighter, the artist, the farmer, the mail carrier, and the astronaut taking off. That's why they're having a launch party. I really like this book, and we are going to talk about what we want to be when we grow up this week. That's going to be a big conversation. Over here on my bookshelf, I have lots of books about jobs. Police officers, doctors, veterinarians, librarians, dentists, grocery store workers, librarians, I think I said that, and firefighters, again, is the first one we're going to talk about. I have firefighters, and let's meet a firefighter. This one has real photographs from a firehouse. I'm going to do this one and we're going to do a little project after and then maybe to, after I will post another book, Let's Meet a Firefighter, so you can listen to that story as well. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to share my screen like I do and here we are. Firefighters. 
So Community Helpers, like I said, is the theme. The title of one of these mini books is People in My Community. And firefighters are in our community and they are very important to our community. And we're going to talk about why and what they do to keep us safe. That is the first chapter of this nonfiction book. I know it's nonfiction because it has a table of contents and it tells me where to find these chapters or these sections of the book. If I want to go off to the fire, 12, a school visit, 18. So that's one little clue, another clue that this is a nonfiction book. Keeping us safe. Oh, some of you might know the sight word we've been working on. A firefighter has an important job. A firefighter helps people. Firefighters protect people from fires. They also put out fires. Firefighters wear special uniforms to keep them safe. They wear masks and air tanks too. There's the air tank, there's the big helmet, they have the belts with lots of attachments for oxygen and things. Firefighters use special tools to put out fires. Lots of tools, hoses, bars, axe. So here's their bar, it's labeling it. I love that they're adding a label. We've been practicing so much of this. Axe, it's pointing to the axe right there. Off to the fire. Firefighters ride in fire trucks. They turn on the siren. They drive very fast to get to the fire. I'm sure you have seen a fire truck in our community, maybe even with the lights on, attending to an emergency or a situation. Firefighters use water and foam to put out the fire. Hmm, I didn't know they used foam. Firefighters use ladders. There it is again, a nice label. They rescue people. They give first aid to people who are hurt. So if they have to help on site, they will. Oh, here's a school visit. Sometimes they visit schools. They talk about fire safety. And this is usually during fire safety week, which would have been a couple weeks ago in October. And they talk about locating your smoke detectors, making sure you put batteries in them when they need. If they're beeping, add those batteries. It's time for them to be updated and making sure you have a plan, an emergency evacuation plan if you ever need to escape from a, your house or your apartment or your building. And the question at the end is, would you like to be a firefighter? This kid is dressed up and looks like this is the career that he would choose. And this is our glossary of terms. It shows me it's a nonfiction book. Firefighters. Okay, so then, boys and girls, this is the paper for our activity today, Firefighter Circle Map. The first thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and write my name. If you need to pause my video to go get your paper from your November folder, you can do that now. I'm going to cut the dotted line on the side and it's a circle map. So sometimes we do these with letters and we put like a letter in the middle and we label the other pictures. I, I do those a lot in school. Today we're doing one with beginning words for a firefighter words. So this will be something we can do together. I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm not gonna glue mine down. You're gonna glue yours. Make sure you cut out all the little squares. And we're gonna figure out what sounds are missing on these important firefighter pieces that they use or have. So the first one I'm gonna put on is a badge. B. What sound do you hear at the beginning of badge? B. B. It's a letter we've practiced and worked on. B. Bat. B. It's a skyline letter. Comes down past plane, goes to grass, turns around, badge. They have a fire truck. This one's really hard sound, truck, because it's the blend at the beginning, but we're going to add the T topped. Another skyline letter goes down to grass, crosses at plane. Add your lowercase t to truck. I'm going to zoom in for you here. All righty. They wear this on their head. What's that called? 
helmet. Which sound do I need to add at the beginning? <sighs> Who says <sighs> like H, hat, huh? We haven't done that letter yet, but it pulls down and then turns around at the plane line. They also wear boots. B, that B again, pull down, back up and around, boots. The fire station starts with s, s snake. And then we talked about some of their tools, like a hose. There's that song sound again. Hose was with H. Hose. On this one again, the hydrant, where they hook up the hoses. Hydrant and hose start with the same beginning sound. H again. And the last one, some firehouses have dogs. Dalmatian dogs are the popular one we sometimes see in stories. Dog. What's the first sound you hear in dog? D. 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 Dog. D. And that is your circle map. You can glue these down and color in the pictures, your best coloring. And take your time. That's your language arts project for today, boys and girls. Thank you for listening to my story and completing your work. And I will see you very soon for another video for your foundation letter practice. Have a good afternoon.